Two bitch boy Savi got bands back with another reaction. We back. So if y'all know where to subscribe and like, comment, number follow my Twitter IG. That's the look. I react to a song, right? It was by Bro Shaki. It's it's going crazy. I ain't even gonna lie. It's going crazy. And then I remembered about the beef and all that. So I got this vid. It's perfect. I hope bro talk about him too. I hope bro talk about the beef so I know who bro beefing with, all what's going on. So if y'all new subscribe, I'll put the original link in the bio too. And let's go. Chotas versus Tuts Patrullan. In Rinkeby in Western Stockholm, a brutal gang war has been going on since July 2015 between two groups of childhood friends that the media started calling Tuts Patrullan, the Death Squad, and Chotas. These two gangs have shot at each other on at least 50 occasions, which has so far resulted in the death of at least 10 young men. How did this happen? So I know bro Shaki on the on the DP side. I was calling bro like the, the Swedish King Vaughn. And I, I thought he was cool with your scene at first. But now that I'm seeing it, I think bro... They beefing and stuff. I was asking y'all, I think you're seeing on the shot of sight, right? So that's why I wanted to see this vid too. It's getting interesting. All this beef stuff, stay inside. That's all I gotta say. Stay inside. This war started after a robbery against the Forex Exchange Office in Tabby on July 22nd, 2015. At least four people carried out the robbery and got away with almost 200,000 euros. On the same day of the robbery, everyone in Rinkeby knew that friends Essie, 19 years old, and Masla, 16 years old, had planned the robbery together. But according to sources, Masla was not allowed to take part in the robbery. Ma Masla was in? Oh, Masla the, the younger one, that's crazy. Masla was upset and angry with Essie for committing the robbery without him. Masla and some of his friends, and they called themselves 3MST, 3MST which stands for their names, Makan, Masla, Musse, Shubre, and Talang. These boys later become the core for what is later known as Dutzpatrullen, the Death Squad. According to sources, Masla and his friends confront Issy and Inkeby and demands a piece of the money from the robbery, but Issy reportedly refuses to give up any money. A fight breaks out and it ends with Masla pulling out a gun. He started running through Inkeby towards the woods. And Masla and his friends run after him. In the woods, they catch up with Izzy, and Izzy is shot in the back several times. Izzy comes crawling out of the woods until he collapses in an old woman's garden before dying, aged 19. July 24th, 2015. Masla and a friend is laying low after the murder, and they're at a gas station in Broma Plan in the early morning hours. The police receive a call about gunfire. At least 16 shots have been fired at the scene and the perpetrators are seen running towards a moped before fleeing the scene. When the police arrived at the gas station, 16 year old Masla was taken to the hospital with gunshot wounds. Oh, moves. they got him? Ooh, that revenge quick. Did that get back quick though? Damn, that is crazy. That is neck crazy. in the back of the head. But he... I feel like I watched this before, but bro, I swear. In English, it's way different. Because I don't got to keep reading it all the time. Remember, the vids be long too. I'm not saying I wasn't understanding, but now I can understand better. Damn, they got, bro, stay inside again. Was again. taken to the hospital with gunshot wounds to the <coughs> neck and the back of the head. <coughs> He later dies from his injuries. Right, One of Issy's brothers and a friend are identified as suspected oh, perpetrators. Oh, get Rapper, back! Yeah. It was that get back. It was. JB mentions this murder in a song. After these two murders, three MST. JB Jafar mentions this murder. Take it back. Rapper Yafarbin JB mentions this murder in a song. After these two murders. So is Jafar on the shot aside? Uh, he, he on the shot aside, right? Anastasia or Dutz Patrullen are banned from setting foot in Linkeby 
had to stay away, becoming involved in drug trafficking and murder for hire elsewhere. They spent a lot of time down in Malmö, Sweden's third largest city, becoming involved with Amir Mekki and Los Huecos. Mm. When some of the leading members of what will become known as Shotas end up in prison, Dutzpatrullen members see their chance to come back to the area. December 2nd, 2016. Shortly before 10 p.m., several masked men rushed into Café Minta in Rinkeby, armed with a pistol and an automatic weapon. Two brothers were sitting at a table in the café when the perpetrators opened fire. The brothers try to escape through the back entrance in the kitchen, but they run into the wrong room and are trapped with no way out. Both brothers are shot to death next to each other. That's the victims crazy. are two brothers with the nicknames Indiana, aged 25, Smokey, age 24. What they Indiana doing? is the intended target of the attack, and Smokey is believed to be killed only because he was with his brother at the moment. Damn. After this brutal double murder, a further divide is made, and people have to start choosing sides in the area. Two upcoming rappers from Rinkeby. Yo, who is bro? Cause I seen um Yasin take a picture with bro right there. So bro had to be important. And they put a hit on him, so bro had to be somebody. Do y'all know who bro is? To find themselves on the Shota side. December 13th, 2016. The Shotas. Two upcoming rappers from Rinkeby come to find themselves on the Shota side. December 13th, 2016. On Tuesday morning at 3.39, a shooting takes place in Julsta. Police arrive and doesn't find anyone injured at the scene, but a young man arrives at the hospital seeking medical treatment for gunshot wounds. At least 40 shots have been fired by two shooters with AK-47s at the young man sitting in his car. The two AK-47s are dumped near the crime scene. Musse from 3MST Dutzpatrullen is the victim, and he has been hit with four shots. Damn. One time in the leg, and three times in the bulletproof vest he was wearing, and he survives without serious injuries. According to the police, the suspected shooter is Aya from Shotas, and another young man from Tensta. Later that evening at 7 minutes past 6, the police received a call about gunshots in a wooded area in Tensta in northwest Stockholm. When the police arrived at the scene, they found a young man lying on the ground, badly injured. The young man was shot 10 times, including the neck, and he dies of Damn, yo, remember, this is real life. Sometimes I be forgetting. Sometimes I be thinking it's like a story, a documentary. Remember, this is real life. Ten times? Yo, y'all got a war zone out there in Sweden. Y'all got a war zone. This is wild. Badly injured. The young man was shot 10 times, including in the face, neck, and he dies in the hospital days later. What did Two he men do? in their 20s were later arrested, but released. The victim is A2 from Malmö, a very close friend of Amir Mekki, the leader of Los Huecos. Amir Mekki and other men from Malmö make it to Stockholm and the hospital where A2 is treated. They threaten A2's alleged shooter to the hospital for a meeting, where they question the young man who denies he's involved in the shooting. Amir Mekki knows the core of the Patrullen since their time in exile from Rinkeby, down in Malmö. Rapper Jaffarbin JB mentions the attempted murder of Musin Julsta in the song Kulturushen, The Gold Rush, where he says 33 shots in 3 ucking seconds. 30. Which is seen by people as taking a clear stance for the Shotas gang in the war, which later has consequences for the rapper. On April 1st and May 22nd, 2015, Dust Patrullen allegedly carries out two contract killings. One man is executed outside a McDonald's in Uppsala, and one young man is found dead, shot at least four times, including at least one time in the head. DNA evidence connects them to both killings. On August 8, 2017, members of Dutz Patrullen catch rapper Jaffar Bean alone in Rinkeby and surrounds him. Members of Dutz Patrullen brutally beat and humiliate the rapper at gunpoint while recording it on their phones. 
This include punches, kicks, slaps, spitting, and urinating on him while calling him a studio gangster. Did bro come back from this? Because I feel like this damages our rapper's reputation. Because every time a rapper be talking tough and then something happens, it's like, ugh. But I don't live in Sweden, so I don't know how y'all take this. Did y'all... Did y'all brush this over or y'all still be remembering this, talking about this? Y'all can't take bro serious. Is bro a meme now? Let me know. What's going on with after this situation? Did y'all like say F it, we still mess with bro? Or y'all laugh at him, I'll troll? I don't know. Let me know what's going on in Sweden. To the police during the same summer, Makkum. That is crazy. Catching bro lacking and recording, that's crazy. Dust patrol and Beats the rapper Yassin unconscious. Oh my god. Oh my god. DP is putting in work. Pause. Pause. I thought Shadows was on top. No, it's like Death Patrol on top though. And they got that new rapper Shaki 2 going crazy. They didn't have that rapper. They was going crazy on the streets, I feel like. But they didn't have that rapper. Now I feel like Bronum got that rapper. They, they finna take off. Cause they beating all these rappers. They got your, they got your scene. They got other bro too. That's this crazy. This is crazy. The same summer, Makkum from Dustbot. Take it back, gangster. According to the police, during the same summer, Makkum from Dust Patrol and beats the rapper Yassin unconscious same outside a hamburger place in Rinkeby. These two incidents are said to have cemented the two rappers' loyalties to the gang. Shot us. <laughs> October 23rd. Nah, they did the Dawn Dirty. That's crazy. That's 2017. Crazy. Just before 9 on Monday evening, shots are fired at Breby Plan in the Rinkeby area. A young man is shot several times as he fled the scene, and witnesses reportedly heard eight I still shots. Respect the Dawn. Several empty shell casings belonging to an automatic weapon were later found close by. Machiavelli from Death's Patrullen, who is the brother of previously murdered Masla, is shot several times and driven to the hospital in a private car. He was wearing a bulletproof vest, so he survives the murder attempt with minor injuries to the abdomen. December 28, 2017. After a car chase at night that ended in Sponga in northern Stockholm, three people were arrested suspected of possession and distribution of large quantities of narcotics. Police seized 28 kilos of amphetamine. Musse and Talang from the Spatrullen were prosecuted and sentenced to eight years and seven Hell. years and eight months in prison. Come on, police. December 31st, 2017. On the early morning hours of New Year's Eve, a young man with gunshot wounds is found sitting in a car in a parking garage in Rinkeby. He is pronounced dead. 20-year-old Karar is the victim and he is said to have been shot dead with at least 8 shots, including in the head. He had been shot by at least 2 shooters with 2 different weapons. Karar had previously been sentenced for a robbery in May 2015 and was friends with Masla. And he is said to have been involved in the beating of the rapper Yassin and he drove Machiavelli to the hospital after being shot. The police suspected Aya and Yassin to be the shooters. Yassin and Karar lived nearby and both had access to the parking garage. January 8, 2018 On Monday evening, after two men have a brief discussion inside a pizzeria in Rinkeby, one of the men walks out, and minutes later at 6.33, the shooter walks in and instantly shoots the sitting victim twice, hitting him one time in the neck and one time in the head. The 24-year-old victim, Hamsa, linked to Shotas, dies of his injuries. Months later, in a completely different case, the murder weapon with DNA on it was found. 16-year-old Shaki, with ties to Despatrullen, is charged with the murder. Shaki is found guilty but only receives three years in a youth detention center for the murder due to the fact that he was only 16 years old when he committed the murder. That's crazy. Bro got the same shoes on. The fact on. that he was only 16 years old when he committed. Bro got the same shoes on. That is crazy. Same jeans too. Bro did not care. 
Bro in changes fit at all. The murder. April 3rd, 2018. Rapper Yassin releases the music video for his song, Chicago, while he's on the run from the law. In the song, several Shotas members are mentioned. Member and Yassin's manager, Frankie, is also in the video. The names mentioned include Aye, Poi, Faye, Frankie, and the then murdered Indiana. Yassin raps, it's us against them, it's a derby. Comparing their local gang war to a football derby. Mm -hmm. And then him and Aya are top scorers, shooters, implying they are behind some shootings and murders. During 2018, Jaffarbin, Aya, Shikar from Shotas are sentenced to prison for gun possession, for having two AK 47s and a pistol in a crime they documented by posing with them in pictures. Oh my god! That's crazy. Gang member Poi is also sentenced for the possession of an automatic firearm. A rapper Yassin, who was arrested later on, was eventually sentenced to two years in prison for gun possession. August 11, 2018. A2's alleged killer's older brother is found murdered outside a preschool in Tiemsta. The victim was not a criminal or involved in the conflict, and there is speculation that the man was killed by people from Alma as revenge for A2. June 25th, 2019. There's a shooting in the area of Western Copenhagen, the capital of Denmark. Three Shotas members are sitting in a car and suddenly another car pulls up. A masked gunman armed with a pistol and an AK-47 opens fire at the car. The driver, 23-year-old Frankie, tries to put the car in reverse, but the engine stalls and dies. Frankie's 21-year-old brother-in-law, Gucci, is trapped inside the car. Frankie and 22-year-old Hoods try to run from the scene. Hoods is shot at when he runs and jumps over a hedge. At the same time, Frankie tries to run behind a parking garage with the shooters behind them, and he is hit one time with one shot in the leg. He collapses at the bottom of a residential building, jumping into a bush, bleeding heavily from his leg. Gucci has crawled out the passenger seat and is on the ground, shot and injured. One of the gunmen takes pictures and records the victim with his phone when the second shooter goes back to their car, then goes back and shoots already shot Gucci 14 more times. 21-year-old Gucci is shot with a total of 19 shots and dies. Frankie is bleeding profusely after being shot in the right thigh with one shot and he also dies later in the hospital. Hood survives the attack unharmed. They were there because they had arranged a meeting with a Danish rapper whom Frankie knew from before but they have been led into a trap. Instead, Makkan, aka Makelele from Death's Patrullen, who used to be very close childhood friends with Frankie, showed up. Back door. Five young men are sentenced for the double murder and attempted murder. Three of them, including Makkan, 23 years old, are sentenced to life imprisonment. August 7, 2019. The police received a call during the night shooting in Tiemsta, but the officers found no signs of gunfire or anyone <coughs> injured and left the scene. At 6.30 in the morning, a passerby found a 27-year-old Tiemsta resident dead in central Tiemsta. The man had apparently been executed with multiple gunshots. The murder victim, 25-year-old Nasir, was not a criminal nor involved in the conflict. However, his brother Capone is on the other hand a member of the Spatrullen. The victim was forced by Shotas and affiliated gang FLG members to try to contact and force his brother to come outside. Capone refused to come out and then they killed his brother. Ah oh, damn, come on Capone. Come on Capone. Uh, December 31st, 2019. The police were alerted just past midnight on New Year's Eve. A young man was found shot in a car in Inkeby with multiple gunshot wounds to the head. He dies from his injuries. 20-year-old Vincent, or Poi, was the victim. 
He was wearing a bulletproof vest, but he was shot in the back of the head in what is believed to be an internal dispute within the gang. He had a disagreement with some of the members in Shotas for different reasons, and he did not approve that Nasir, the innocent brother of Capone, had been murdered. Captain, Captain, who was Frankie's cousin, is named by the police as a suspected shooter of Poi. Captain is later murdered, shot dead in another separate conflict. From Shotas, the rapper Yassin, who was very close friends with Poi, Ace, Hoods and Ghost, plus several other men were arrested for involvement in the murder. In the end, only Yassin, Hoods and Ghost are taken into custody on probable cause for Poi's murder. But after several months, they too are released and no one is prosecuted for the murder. In the summer of 2020, 23 year old Shubre and his 24 year old big brother Siri from Dutch Patrullen are arrested in Barcelona, Spain, where he is still in custody on suspicion of serious drug offenses. Shubre is later in his absence requested to be extradited to Sweden on suspicion of two murders drug offenses, gun possession, and attempted robbery. Uh, this is him. the latest chapter in this bloody tragedy, and while all of this is going on... It's looking crazy in Sweden, bro. Sweden looking hella wild. Damn. Y'all better stay inside. Stay inside. If y'all like this, y'all want to see more, subscribe, like, comment. I had to do this one because I was listening to bro music. And then y'all remind me, bro, in this beef. And I was getting it wrong. I was getting the shot is in DP side wrong. So, yeah. Now I know who, who, who is beefing me, who all this crazy. Stay inside. If you enjoyed this, subscribe, like, comment. Follow my Twitter, IG, all that stuff. And I'm out.